hey everyone i hope you are doing well welcome back um i hope you're enjoying the university videos i know when i was in grade 12 and 11 i was that kid who would search up like ubc videos every week and binge watch all the videos that came up so I get it. Anyways, it's been about a month into school and I just want to chat about some things that I've picked up. Um, some academic tips, social tips because it's kind of hard to make friends online, and of course maintaining your mental health throughout all of this. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let's get into it. So this is something that I've started doing recently and it has changed the stress and organization game for me. Instead of planning out what I have to do every single morning, I just take around 30 minutes on Sunday evening to look ahead at all my readings, quizzes, midterms, and reminders for the week, and I just write them all down. Also, if you have any classes that have a class schedule, highly recommend checking that out weekly. In terms of academic tips, I've been reading this really good book called How to Become a Straight A Student and honestly when I heard the title I was a little skeptical but this book actually gives such unique and practical advice. I'll share two tips that I've taken away from the book and have implemented into my studying life and I'll also have the book linked down below if you want to check it out. So the first one is a note-taking tip for non-technical courses and I use this one a lot in philosophy and sociology because it's easy to get all the concepts mixed up. Instead of jotting down all the notes that are just said in the lecture, try taking it in a form of question, evidence, and conclusion. This will help you understand the information better, categorize it, and also if you ever have an essay question based on this prompt in the future, you'll know exactly what to do. The second tip is to determine the hierarchy of readings if you just don't have the time to do all of the readings that are assigned. Again, I think this is intended towards non-technical courses, but the reading hierarchy is readings that make an argument, readings that describe an event or person, and finally, readings that only provide context. I haven't had to use this tip yet, but if you're drowning in readings, then you know what to do. A midterm study tip is to just make a study schedule about 10 days in advance and to divide up the material into little portions every single day instead of cramming it all on the last few days. If you know someone who's taken the class before you, check with them to see what the midterm will cover so you don't spend an unnecessary amount of time on something that won't even come up. Also, if you can find online quizzes and even practice exams that relate to the topic and put yourself in a simulated test environment, like put on a timer, put your phone away, just to see how you would actually feel in the situation. Even if it's open book, study as if it's going to be off your memory solely and don't let that false sense of security trick you. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Ella from Sociology and we're here to talk about what we've learned from the social aspect of university so far. So the first social part that we realized in university is that it's so easy to feel isolated and lonely. So that being said, make sure to have at least one friend in each class. And if you don't really know where to start with that, just literally Zoom message someone and then get connected on the other social medias and initiate calls because some people are shy. So try to be the one who initiates everything. Join a group chat, whether that's through social media such as Instagram or Facebook. It's important to engage with your classmates and to engage in the group chat itself to get to know the people in your class or in that group chat itself and then you can build a nice friendship. Go to office hours to connect with either your prof or TA so you can ask questions and get a better understanding of the course material and overall ease your way into your course. Story time of how I made a friend in my online class. So it all started when we both signed up for a philosophy class and mm -hmm. it was the first like day of discussion. So we got into break breakout rooms and then Karen was like, she introduced herself. Yes. Like, I was like, hello guys, how are you doing? 
<laughs> yeah, and I was like, hey, I'm good, thanks. But there was like, there was this other girl, she left our breakout room, basically. And then we kept talking, and then once the breakout room ended, Karen texted me privately. She was like, hey, you should add me on Instagram. And mm -hmm. I was like, okay, but I didn't know how to text her back, so I until <laughs> dawn to Instagram. I thought she I just ignored me. <laughs> So then I texted her, I was like, hey, this is Phoebe from Phil. And then Karen set up like a FaceTime on mm -hmm. like Sunday or Monday. And then we just kept FaceTiming. Yay! When it comes to maintaining mental health in school, I think the biggest tip is separating your work from your identity. Your work and your grades do not dictate you. They do not dictate your level of intelligence and they do not have the power to take over your priorities such as family, friends, and mental health. When you make a mistake, it doesn't do much to dwell on that mistake. Instead, just use it for future motivation and use it as a lesson learned. For example, a couple days ago, I checked the schedule and I found that I had missed three quizzes in my science class and I was pretty bummed about that but in the end there's nothing I can do about it except to check the schedule more regularly for next time and to keep my week more organized. So to give a final few tips for what I have learned so far, number one, always check up on your friends even if it seems like they're doing fine, even if they're worried by homework, you never know how they're feeling internally and mentally so always just check in with them. Have a simple, hey, how have you been doing or how can I help? Number two, just because you already have some friends going into university doesn't mean that you shouldn't make the conscious effort to make new ones because, you know, you never know what's going to happen and the best thing you can do is to consistently put yourself out there. And finally, you probably hear this one so much, it was even mentioned earlier in this video, but actually go to your prof and TA's office hours. Even if it's not for a new assignment, even if it's for an assignment that you got back a while ago and you just want some more feedback on it to implement for future assignments, I think they're just so much more willing to help when they get to know you more and they can even personalize their recommendations and suggestions. Thank you so so much for watching, I hope you picked up a few tips from this video whether it's academic, mental health, or social life. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you very soon. Bye!